Hello, and welcome to Ellen Ruth Soap. I'm Ellen, and today we're gonna do something new for me. I have never made this before. We're gonna make a foaming sugar scrub using a melt and pour base that you whip up with your mixer, and then you add the sugar in and the fragrance. And so it's uh, unlike the emulsified sugar scrub that I had in a previous video, that's more of a lotion that you do after you clean your body. Well, this sugar scrub is an exfoliating, foaming, soapy, cleaning product. <laughs> Both really fun. But um, the fragrance that I'm going to be using today is from Brambleberry. It's Lemon Bar. And this is such a delicious scent. Uh, this is fantastic in soap. I've done candles with it. I've done lotion bars with it. So I'm using it today in this foaming sugar scrub because it's just divine. Uh, and so anyway, it's one of my favorite scents from Brambleberry. And then for the color, I'm gonna split this in two and do one part uncolored so it'll be white and then another yellow. And I'm gonna be using Sunday Fun Day <laughs> from Wholesale Supplies Plus because I thought that was lemony and bright and pretty and so nice. Um, one of the reasons that I wanted to do this is because I do not sell my whipped body butter in warmer weather. So we're coming into spring, and which will lead to summer, and um, I don't like to ship my body butters in the warm months. So that's a winter product, and I'm like, oh, I want to do something foamy and whippy. So I saw Holly at Missouri River Soap did a uh, whipped, you know, um, foaming sugar scrub. And I'm like, that looks great. And she said she got the recipe from Rustic Essentials, which is a fragrant oil distributor. They also have other um, soap and candle um, products, you know. <laughs> uh, and I, so anyway, I went over there and looked at their recipe. I looked at Wholesale Supplies Plus has a whole recipe um, library that you can look at. And I just kind of was comparing things and um, so I got really motivated to do this. So I ordered my melt and pour base. I'll show you which one I chose uh, when we get to that. But I really wanted to do this for the hot summer months because when you whip this up, it ships pretty good. So I've been told it's not too heat sensitive. Um, so anyway, that's what we're gonna do today. I'm gonna get my stand mixer out, get all the uh, ingredients ready, get my hair pulled back and uh, come along with me for the first time as I make a foaming whipped sugar scrub. All right, so before I get my work surface sanitized and get my gloves on and everything, I wanted to show you the supplies I'm using today. And then I'm gonna wipe everything down with 99% isopropyl alcohol, get my, oops, <laughs> get my work surface all cleaned and everything prepped and ready to go. So I wanted to show you, this is the melt and pour base I'm using today. It's crystal soap base. I got this from the Flaming Candle and they sent me a free little one ounce fragrance oil, which I'll be using at another date. This is white tea and ginger. Doesn't that sound nice? So thank you, Flaming Candle. That was awesome. So here it is in all its glory. So that's what we're gonna be whipping up today. Let me show you if I can fit it in the screen. I got this massive bag here are the jars that I'm gonna be using. These are eight ounce jars from Wholesale Supplies Plus is where I got them this time. Uh, they did have a sale going on. And here are the lids and they do have a little plastic liner in the lid. So there, I'm gonna be filling eight ounce jars today for the oil. So I'm, I will be sharing the recipe and talking about it as I go. Uh, Holly over at Missouri River was so generous to share the recipe she used. And then she gave a link to Rustic Essentials, which is where uh, she got the recipe and I went and checked their recipe out. And then um, I got this base from Flaming Candle and they actually had the best price, even with the shipping. So the oil that I'm gonna use in my recipe today is avocado oil. This will be the avocado oil I'm using today. And for the sugar, I'm gonna be using this sugar I got at my Walmart. It was a very good price. This is an eight pound bag. It was like $3.50 or something, but it's a nice natural sort of cream. It's an unbleached, just a nice beige natural sugar. So that's the sugar that we're using today. And I already talked about the fragrance and the color. So I have got to get all this off my table, get everything wiped down, get my stand mixer out, and then we will come back and get to whipping this soap. I'm so excited to make this today. All right, so before I get to measuring my melt and pour base, I am going to measure out the sugar I need and just get this all up off the table and set to the side. So I need 64 ounces of this beautiful sugar. And we'll just set this off to the side till we're ready for it after we get the nice fluffy whip going on. 
And uh, on the Rustic Essentials recipe, it said you can use uh, the sugar at a rate of one, you can use it equal parts or less. So I'm using equal parts. Um, but you, you know, this is not a hard and fast ingredient. If you want to use 60 ounces, if you want to use 40 ounces, you can. But um, I'm going to use the equal amount of the whip in the sugar because I want it really fully saturated. All right, and I'm going to go ahead and measure off the liquid portion here also. So what we've got is my avocado oil. I'm going to do seven ounces of avocado oil in here. And again, they said you could do, um, this is a four pound, let me, let me measure this before I, <laughs> I keep talking. I cannot measure and talk at the same time. Good heavens. All right, there we go. Seven ounces. So yeah, they said um, you can use this, uh, the liquid oil at a rate of one ounce per pound up to two ounces per pound. And so 64, I'm gonna use four pounds of this and I'm doing seven ounces. So just shy of two ounces per pound. But again, this is a flexible ingredient. So I've got my avocado oil measured. Now I'm going to use my OptiFen preservative. Um, I like OptiFen. This one is from Brambleberry. You can get it from multiple different distributors. It's formaldehyde free and paraben free. Um, so I'm going to add two ounces in here. And the reason why this melt and pour base already has a preservative in it, but I'm adding more ingredients to it. And you might get moisture in your jar if you put wet fingers in there to scoop it out. Um, so this is just an extra safety guard that I recommend. So two ounces of OptiFen. It's going to go in here. All right, and the last but not least ingredient is my fragrance oil. And uh, so again, you need to look up or learn the usage rates of the fragrance oils you're using. So this is a soap rinse off body product in the IFRA. It's a category nine product. Um, and so I looked up the usage rate for my lemon bar from Brambleberry and the usage rate was 5%. But that was a little bit strong for me. 5% of 64 was gonna be over five ounces. Um, and on the Rustic Essentials website, when they were giving the recipe, they said a nice range is, you know, two to 3% per volume. So I'm actually gonna add about two and a half to three ounces of fragrance. This is a nice smelling fragrance, but it's not too strong and in your face. Um, so I'm gonna go for about two and a half to three ounces and I'm still well within the range. There we go, three ounces. All right, so this is the liquid portion that I am going to just set off to the side and we measure this out and get it whipping and then we will incorporate that after we get a nice whip going on the melt and pour base. All right, so now it is time to measure into my clean mixing bowl here for my stand mixer, 64 ounces of this melt and pour base. And I'm just using my stainless steel knife here because that's what I had that works. <laughs> Not very glamorous, but just measure it in here. And again, I shopped around for um, Wholesale Supplies Plus has a very nice uh, Stevenson whipped base, um, several other distributors, but the Flaming Candle, even with the shipping, had the best price that I saw. So um, definitely go check them out. I'll try to remember to leave a link down below because, you know, I like to pass on a good deal. Now, I do know that you can also make a whipped base yourself from scratch. Um, but <laughs> I'm doing the pre-bought method because that's just what I'm doing this, especially for my first time. I wasn't going to delve into making my melt and pour from scratch, but I know that it is possible to do that. So, um, you know, that is always an option. If you feel like the pre-made is too pricey, then you can make it. Let's see, we're getting close. There we go. All right, 64 ounces of the whip. And so now I am going to get this over into my stand mixer and just start whipping it. And today I am using the beater. You'll see when we get there. Let me go pull my mixer over. All right, I'm back with my stand mixer. This is the whisk attachment, um, rustic ascent, or yeah, rustic essentials. <laughs> Sorry, I had a brain stall there. They use the flat beater to start with. I'm gonna try this and see if this is too stiff, then I'll switch to the flat beater. But this is what I cleaned off and have ready to go. So we're just gonna try it and see what we get.
All right, it definitely went, so that's awesome. And um, so uh, Rustic Essentials and Holly talked about um, stopping every once in a while, scraping off the sides of your bowl here, because we talked about in an earlier video when I was making bath bombs about having to scrape the side of your bowl. So that's what I'm doing. Um, the total whip time, what I've read, of course, we're doing this for the first time here with you, but uh, is about eight to 10 minutes total to get it to its nice, full, fluffed up state. So about every couple of minutes, I'm just gonna come back in, stop it, um, knock down the sides and go back in. And so we'll come back and I'll start talking again in about 10 minutes. All right, it's been about five minutes and I am gonna go and it's I've scraped it down. I'm gonna go ahead and incorporate my liquid ingredients into here as it's fluffing because I really want those to be incorporated in the whole, you know, fluffing part of this. So I'm gonna turn it on low because we don't wanna splash. And I'm just gonna slowly add in my little pot. And again, this has the avocado oil, the OptiVent preservative and the fragrance. That's what's going on in here. All right, we're at about, nah, I wouldn't say double volume, but it's definitely fluffed up. I've just scraped it down and I'm gonna start incorporating the sugar now before I split this in half and add my yellow mica so we can have a little swirl in those uh, jars that I have because, you know, why not? Doesn't that just sound wonderful? So I'm gonna turn this on low and very slowly incorporate my uh, sugar. All right, I just split off half of this. Uh, so I added up all the numbers and split it in half. So about 70 ounces was half of the volume after you add the sugar and the melt and pour and everything. And now I'm gonna color it with my beautiful yellow mica here. Ooh, Sunday fun day, isn't that pretty? So I will just add it in very slowly till I get to the color that I want. I don't wanna use a ton. I just want this to have just a lemony hint. So let's get this blended to a pretty yellow color. we have it all made and just this beautiful lemony yellow and then the white and we're going to use press and seal to get the two colors in the piping bag and for the piping bag I have I wish I had longer ones these are 16 inch I wish I had like an 18 or 20 inch because I'm gonna have to do like little bits at a time but I have a coupler on here and I'm gonna be using my Wilton 1M just so it'll have some little stripies in there and then um, so we'll just put that on after we get the bag in here. I'll show you all that when we do it. But first, we have to load up our press and seal. So you just pull out a link. And it doesn't have to be press and sealed, but it works so good. Uh, and you put it with the sealing side or the sticky side up. There. And you just stripe down your colors, seal it up, and get it in the piping bag. All right, I've got my eight ounce jar teared out on my scale. I'm gonna try and fit close to 
eight ounces in here if I can. Isn't that pretty? I got about seven and a half ounces in an eight ounce jar, and I will try to tap this down and put a little more. I'm gonna go for eight ounces in each jar, and I'll tell you how far we get when I finish weighing all these out. It's very thick and lovely. All right, so let's talk about this. I got 16 eight ounce, a little over eight ounce actually, jars. These are eight ounce jars, but the piping tip, oh my word, I had to squeeze so hard to get it out. And so I just took the tip off and I think it's uh, actually just as pretty without the tip and this was much easier. So I don't have great piping skills with this. It's very stiff and thick, it's wonderful. Man, my studio smells divine. But now I've got to get the lids on these and it's gonna smush the little peaks down on some of them. But once the lids are on, I'm gonna go ahead and wipe down all the outsides of the jars, even though they're clean. And then I'll get my labels printed and we'll come on back. And I do have a little left in the bowl. I will give you a product demo, but let me get these lidded up first. The lids are on, the gloves are off, and uh, look how that foams up. I just poured a little warm water in here so I can give you a product demo because, oh my goodness, this is nice. So I'm just gonna clean off the spatulas here. And uh, you wanna use this on wet skin, you know, the shower or the tub, and you can feel the exfoliation, but it lathers. It's got a nice little bubbly, creamy lather, and it feels so nice. The sugar is not in a aggressive exfoliant. I think uh, if you're a self tanner, this would be a great way to prep in the shower. So this is cleaning you because it has the soap base, but it also is moisturizing. Now again, this did not go through saponification. So all that avocado oil is like a super fat on your skin. So then you rinse it off and you just feel so smooth and wonderful. Oh, this is great. If you've never tried this, I hope you give the recipe a try or get a bottle because this feels fantastic. I'm definitely bringing a bottle in my shower tonight. Loving it. All right, I'm back to get the labels on and get these shrink banded and uh, I'm so happy with how they turned out. Here are my labels. I got one for the lid and one for the jar. Um, and I did the, the labels on Maestro Label Designer that you get from onlinelabels.com. When you buy labels from them, you get a year subscription to their label designer. So that is uh, what I'm using today. So I put my little spatulas so this doesn't roll away. Set my jar on there and we'll get to labeling these. I'm just so tickled with how these came out. Get the top one. And there we go. I hope you enjoyed today's video. If you did, please give it a like and uh, hit that subscribe button so you don't miss anything going on in the studio and have an awesome day. I'm just gonna get the rest of these labeled and shrink wrapped.
So as I'm getting these labeled, I forgot to mention that anytime you buy a scrub from me or a lotion or anything in a jar, it comes with a little wooden. These are just sample spoons. Um, you can get them at Websterant. You can get them on Amazon. I think there's a link down in my Amazon store for some. But these are wonderful to scoop out so that you don't get your wet fingers or cross-contaminate in there. So I recommend giving these out with each jar. That's what I do. I think they're just nice little add-ons. 